Take it easy. How do you correctly measure a fever with a digital thermometer? It's easy with BIC. First of all, let's dispel a myth. The digital thermometer is precise like the glass ones were in the past. The tiny variations in temperature that you notice between one measurement and another are signs of extreme accuracy because they pinpoint the normal oscillation of the human body. Does that make sense? Good! So, let's get ready to measure. Before doing so, avoid drinking hot or cold beverages. Don't take a bath or a shower. Take a break from physical activity and, something that never hurts, don't smoke for 15 minutes before taking your temperature. First and foremost, let's learn a crucial secret. How to correctly position the thermometer. Are you ready to find out how? Look, this is the bulb. It is the only part that can sense the body temperature. Be careful to position it correctly. With whatever method you choose, Place it vertical to the axillary fold, resting directly against the skin, like this. Now wait for the thermometer to be. Under your tongue, keeping your mouth closed tight, wait for the beep. And especially if you have a baby, rectal temperature taking, fast and reliable. Just half a centimeter of bulb and beep. Wow, 36 and a half degrees. No fever, let's go play. Okay, now you know the different methods, but do you know when it is considered a fever? Remember that each method has its own reference temperature. For an auxiliary measurement, it is 36.7, whereas orally it is 37 degrees, and with the rectal method, it is 37 and a half degrees. Is everything clear so far? Good! Big Solutions website and YouTube channel are waiting for you with plenty of other handy tips for your health and well-being. And if you still have doubts, just ask your doctor or a specialist, okay? See you for the next solution and pick it easy with Pick Solution.